Hey, it's Todd. In this episode of Building Request Metrics, we'll implement basic authentication and create a simple login page for our application. What the fuck is this? One of the things we wanted to do was create an actual login page. That has a few other implications. So we need, you know, some way uh, to know if the user is logged in, uh, and then some way to like to kick the user to login if they request a page that like isn't is you know is secured that they are not logged in, right? Um, which also implies that we're going to need a session. So we'll store whether the user is logged in in some kind of session. Um, and if we have time today, we can always do a sign up page and an admin page as well. But I think the login page is kind of the big thing. So I, I, I propose that this is a, a secure page because it's very valuable. And so I propose that unless you've logged in, you can't see this page. So like, I think that if you haven't logged in, which would be just literally typing in, you know, your email address, um, yeah. you should get bounced back to probably log in. Does I agree. Does that, and then we'll, we'll have a page there and we'll make it all uh, work. So uh, we probably need, uh, the first thing that we need to do is probably make a login controller so that we can at least like have a page there maybe. <laughs> so Todd, one thing that we found um, by default, uh, like, so this will work uh, for, for login, right? Because yep. like, uh, this one, is the default convention, right? Yep, yes. exactly. The one thing that is frustrating is by default, because this thing is named index, uh, it expects a view called index, which gets really confusing after a while. So what we typically do is just name the view explicitly. Um, and that way it's a little bit easier to find later on. So instead of having in here, instead of having an index.cshtml, we will have a login.cshtml. Okay, um, makes sense. Empty. We can use a layout page. Let's have we created a layout? We do have one. One was created for us, as mm. you may recall, uh, in here. Okay. And so this is the so fresh and so clean. Um, okay. Know, maybe for now, we just do this, and we'll figure this out okay. later. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be our login page. So in theory, if I run this again, I should see, one will see our homepage, that's really crappy. And then I should see this guy. Yep, all right. Yeah, so Todd, to your point, how do we know like, like where- like, it should, like right now it's just throwing an exception. So how do we get it to not throw an exception to just be like, yep, the user's not authenticated because we haven't figured out how to do that yet. Yeah, so we'll send them to the login Let's page. try it. Well, let's try putting the startup things they have, because that looks about the simplest startup we could possibly have, yeah. right? So I'm gonna do this for now. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so whew, this is, I wouldn't say this is better, to be honest. Well, and actually, so really the only difference between what we had and their thing, like I feel like this is actually, yeah, so what's that, what's that thing, that defaults? Is that his or is that? Let's from... see. That is a Microsoft Authentication Cookies default. Okay, what is that thing? And this is, what is he? Cookies, good. Okay, and he's got a login path. Okay, log out parameter return URL. Okay. Sure. So then, and then we'll, let's just not configure that, but that's where we want to go. All right, yep. and so then down here, he's he has bo guys. both of these. Do you want both or just what? Let's do both, I guess. Because uh, he already had that, so. Now what order, because I forget, it was saying the he order had, matters. He had authentication first. Okay. So let's try this and see, I have build errors, huh? Where did I jack that up? Ah, I was playing, I was playing with this attribute and that was not. So that should. Oh. Hey, it works. 
All right, See, so now, now we gotta log in. Okay, so- We've but, done the proper incantation. Jibus, man. Okay, so the login controller, all right. Um, so we're gonna do, uh, and it, like, I think, let's do, uh, let's do this guy. Uh, and so this can be, I mean, this can be index two, if we want. Um, and this can actually just be, this is what Jordan and I used to do a lot of, just so that way, like, we have, like, a, a reasonable name here. I, I, I of, like that. I think that's better. Okay. So I'll just do, um, and then this, I like explicit. And then this can be, just, I don't, I don't know if HTTP get matters, but, uh, okay, so we've got, uh, we've got an email address. So the first thing we probably want to do is get a user, right? And we can do that from our user service. Well, I think maybe we could uh, trim this down if we just uh, assume that whatever is passed to us right now is correct. Well, and but, let's see if we can just log the user in. But, but I mean, literally it's this, right? right? And so now we've got the user. Um, and so if we go back to their example, so I'm gonna copy this whole thing. Now this part, I assume, is not the simplest it can be, because like he's got all this stuff. Yeah, so we let's, really need all this stuff. So let's let's take it for now, uh, and let's just see what we can do here. So uh, we'll just say if user equals null, uh, return this dot redirect. Bye. Right. Okay. Uh, and we can just do. Why do you redirect instead of just returning the login view? Because uh, it's a you post, could. so you want to do the like post redirect loop. Because if you just return it here and they reload the page, it'll resubmit the form. Mm, okay. Remember that old school like, do not resubmit this form. Like, are you sure yep. you want to do that? That's like that's kind of also uh, it's also conveniently lazy because then if there's any logic in the other controller, yeah, for action, it, he can do all that logic again. Whether you okay. right, like you could like fetch some model or something. Great. Okay, so now we so so I think where the the rubber meets the road is this guy. Mm -hmm. So we've got sign in async. What does he need? He needs a scheme. He's got some overloads. So this this one is a scheme, a principle, and some props. We can do it with just a principle and some props. We can do it with a scheme and a principle. A principle only. So it looks like you need a principle for sure. So let's try let's try the principle one. That'd be exciting. Well, I feel like we should probably use this default guy here because they seem to be using this guy everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we need a new claims principle. So what is the least thing that we can pass him? So we could pass him an I identity if we hated ourselves. I principle a list of identities. New principle. Mm -hmm. Or a binary reader, what? which is of all the things. So let's, let's make an empty one. That well, is he making that above? Where is he getting that from? He gets it from the claims identity, which he makes here, which is a which is a list of claims, and apparently this authentication. Scheme. So probably we'll have to put something like the email address, because we'll need to know at some point. Oh, well, maybe not. So is this Let's like his? Let's is this like nothing. his session? I think it's gonna stuff it in session. Okay. Mm. Like, why or, is he putting all these properties in it? Or maybe he's gonna stuff it in a cookie. Well, let's put nothing in it. I want to see if that works. Okay. So you just want to do just like an empty claims principle. Just, a, just an empty claims principle and no auth properties. Is that a thing we can do? I don't know. Let's let's get rid of all this nonsense. Uh, and then let's just do. Right. Well, I don't know why. Um, so we'll leave that guy. We're going to comment all this stuff up for now. All right, good enough? Yeah. Sure, let's try. Well, and of course, this isn't going to work because. Because, folks. We don't have a form. We don't have a form. And we, we do have a form, it's just in the wrong place now. We gotta get it moved. <laughs> yeah. So
So here is our awesome handy dandy login form <clears throat> and we'll put him over here. He's a post, he's an email. Okay, so let's see, let's see where this explodes. Sign in async when Prince identity equals null is not allowed. So the identity is null inside the principle. So identity is required. So we, well, at least in the way we've got it set up, right? Yeah. Maybe we've configured it that way. But I, oh, I mean, we do want an identity, I think. So that doesn't seem onerous. So let's let's go here. What is the minimum thing we can do for this guy? So let's start at one. Okay, authentication type. The binary reader is really interesting. They really, uh, okay, we got some claims. I think we should just put some claims in here. Now, which identity did it want? An I identity, right? Is there's a claims identity? Do, where does he put that claims identity? Is that what he's passed in or does he, he put that inside some he puts, other thing? He puts it in the claims principle. All right. So how about, because we don't really know what we're doing. How we'll about- put the email, right? Yeah, how about we do this and then we can do, right? And then we can get rid of this nonsense. So there's our claims. We've got a claims identity. And we're going to pass him in here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Round two. Or seven. Yeah, okay. Boom. Oh, hey. awesome. So how, how do we get the user's name? So actually, first things first. Let's see. What do we have for cookies here? Cookies. Yeah, because... Oh. What does that mean? ASP core cookies. I bet this is the session cookie. Yeah. So that's what yep, we want. Redirected. So then, <clears throat> so, I mean, so I like that. So then how, how do I get this cookie? So like if in, if in the home page I want to say hi user, right? Like I want to say, um, Hello. Like, what? How do I get him? Mm -hmm. And so, does he? I mean, I assume in our example here. So he's using. So that the user and then he is authenticated. Okay, so that's but so that's yeah. So it toggles between it. Okay, so let's, but hold let's, on though. But that that user identity is probably what we want, right? Yeah, so where did he where did he get that thing? Hmm. So let's see. So we have a name. Let's we'll see what it says. Why don't we have an email? Uh, yeah, well, so I'm, there's not a, there's not like a get claims or something. I know I'm I'm well, I'm sure there is. We just need to find it. So am I still logged in? How the hell does it know that? Well, because we said it in the claim, right? Okay. Uh, so what else? So, could, so that it might just it just feeds this property through from the claim into the identity. Well, because oh here we go. Oh, there's there's here a claim. Go. So uh, so that it hangs out off of. Okay, so we can do find all has claim. Find first. Like, can I do string type? Okay, so what if I did uh, claim? What was it? It was like claim types. Claim types dot name. So claim types dot email, right? You know, it's really too bad that in Razor we still don't have. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Just so we can like have some friggin' intelligence. Uh, so we'll do this dot user dot find first claim types email. Right, so if I do that, we should see the email. Well, claim types is a Is he Enu? I think he's a string. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, it found, Wait, it found the on, claim, it found but you it. need like the claim value. Well, you want your claims and objects, so you gotta do dot. Like, no, no. No, like after that. After that. No, no. Go back. You had it. Okay. Put the thing you had. A after the uh, parenthesis. Now you have a find first. You need to. That's an object, probably. Okay. Dot value. Oh. Uh, okay, so that's not the worst. Yeah, like, for using the correct thing, it, was, it could have been worse, I guess. Can we, um, maybe this is like a, a minutia detail, but how do we change the name of that cookie? Because yeah, I don't really want to so, call it the ASP.NET default cookie. So, yeah, so let's fix that. So, um, we did Which have... in our options, right? Let's have a cookie... Cookie... Uh, he's a cookie builder. Uh, cookie manager? For cookie manager, does he have options? He's an iCookie manager. Mm. Why isn't cookie the thing? Well, because he's a, he's a cookie builder. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is that like a new cookie builder? <laughs> Dot name and so i think we're gonna have to pull pull him out of here um i'm disappointed they lost an opportunity there to name it the cookie baker <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't know is that i mean for now is that okay no cookies is this had a cookies right oh Maybe it's already got one and we can just do that. Yeah, let's go with that. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Hey. We weren't logged in. We are now. Hey, it worked. Yep, sweet. And this must be just my old one. Yep. So theoretically, if I do this again. Great. Why didn't it redirect you? Because you deleted the. Bad I deleted one. the old one. Oh, I kept, right. I kept yeah. the kept the new one. Kept the new one. Okay. Great. Okay. Cool.